Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and what we have for you today is the third generation Fire TV Stick and the Fire TV Stick Lite. Now, more than a review of the performance of this device, we'd like to tell you which Fire TV Stick is right for you and whether you should consider a Fire TV Stick or a competing Android streaming stick. So it's kind of uh, answering your questions about which is the right streaming stick for you. So let's start with the most important question. What is the Fire TV stick? Well, it is literally this, this little HDMI dongle in my hand is the Fire TV stick and the Fire TV stick Lite. Both of them are identical. When you look at them, there's a third Fire TV stick, which is the 4K Fire TV stick. It's slightly longer, slightly bigger than this one, but uh, it has the same aesthetics. Now, of course, one of the things to note is that it is a little thick and what you do get in the box is this little HDMI dongle where you can actually connect the Fire TV stick into this like so. It takes a little bit of fitting in and it fits behind most TVs very comfortably. So if you're someone that has multiple HDMI ports, then this dongle is very important for you. That comes in the box because it ensures it doesn't block the other ports. So the Fire TV stick is essentially a streaming dongle and it's now in its third generation. And in the third gen generation, we have two Fire TV sticks with a price difference of 1000 rupees between both of them. So the third generation Fire TV stick can do 1080p and supports HDR but does not support Dolby Vision and so does the Fire TV Stick Lite. In fact, both the boxes are pretty identical with just the light sticker which is missing. The third generation Fire TV Stick, as I said, can do 1080p and HDR but does not support Dolby Vision. However, it does support Dolby Atmos for audio, something that is missing from the Fire TV Stick Lite. The light can do 1080p and HDR, but it does not support Dolby Atmos. It supports Dolby pass-through audio, which for most home scenarios shouldn't really be much of an issue. What you will notice with one of the biggest difference between the two is the remote control. Now, the remote control, which comes with the third generation Fire TV Stick is the same one we've seen, which comes with the Fire TV Stick 4K, which is to say it's this one. It has a power button, which is extremely useful. So let's say if you have a television and a sound bar, you can use the power button to not only switch on and off the Fire TV stick, but also your television and your home theater setup, making this a one-stop universal remote. So if you're not going to use the other features of your TV, just use your Fire TV stick to consume content. All you need is this one remote control. It also has a volume rocker and a dedicated mute button. So it kind of gives you the whole package of let me control my Fire TV stick with this one remote control. However, the light comes with a little bit of a difference. It has this one button out here, which is unique when you see both the remote controls together, which is a live TV button. And it also misses out on the power button. So you don't really get those universal control features with the Fire TV stick light, which in my opinion is a bit of a bummer. I mean, once you grow used to using this with your TV, it's it's just comes in as second nature. So these are the two differences between the Fire TV Stick Lite and the third generation one. And purely based on the features, the thousand rupees more for a universal remote control and Dolby Atmos support kind of is a no brainer. Unless you are a stickler and really need to save that thousand rupees, this could be like a secondary Fire TV Stick for you one for the guest room, or maybe you just need a backup one. I don't know, maybe that's why you would consider the light, but otherwise the third generation one makes more sense. Of course, the 4K Fire TV stick is the most expensive of the lot, and as of recording this review, doesn't really have the new user interface, which is available on the third generation Fire TV stick. Now, if you've used a Fire TV stick in the past before, you know that it has this big tile kind of a layout right up front, which uh, largely promotes Amazon's own uh, Prime Video content. And you also have apps like Netflix and Disney Plus Hotstar, whose content is promoted on a home banner. However, with the new UI, which I can actually see on a TV out here, but you can't, so I can talk a little bit about it. Uh, but we are going to show you the UI, of course, is this neatly laid out thing where the first thing you will see on the left is a little profile icon. You can have up to six different profiles on one Fire TV stick. So no longer do you have the problem that five different family members are looking at the same UI on the Fire TV stick. As long as you have your own uh, UI, the content recommendation is going to be based on what you've been watching. I unfortunately have been using this with a single profile for now, but what I am getting is a curation of the apps and the library based on the content that I have seen, which is actually really nice. It is a plug and play setup. And if you want to know how to set up a Fire TV stick for the first time, you can click at the link in the description below. We have a detailed article showing you that. Um, but here's one important point to touch upon. Since both the Fire TV stick 
third gen and the light support HDR. It's a great option if you are one that has a nice HDR TV. But if you have a budget HDR TV, know that a lot of budget HDR TVs really don't give you the best HDR experience. And in that case, we highly recommend you go into the settings of the Fire TV stick and disable or switch off HDR because in SDR, sometimes you might just get a better visual experience. Overall, if you're someone that is looking to make your old TV smart, for example, I have a great TV from 2006. The panel is still better than most budget TVs today. It has great sound output, but the smart features have now become quite lacking with some app support dwindling away. A device like the Fire TV Stick 3rd Gen kind of makes perfect sense, not only because it gives me universal remote capabilities with the television, but I also have access to all the apps on a great panel once again. But here's the question that you need to ask yourself is, do you want to go the Amazon Fire TV route or would you rather consider a Android streaming dongle like let's say uh, the Mi Box 4K which is there or the Mi streaming stick. Now, the Mi Box 4K is a great option for those that want to have some local media playback. One thing missing from the Fire TV stick of course is any USB port. I mean, you'll have to live the dongle life if you want to add a USB port to this. So if you're someone that has a hard drive with movies or if you have your family videos that you want to watch, connecting a pen drive to a box like the Mi Box 4K is a lot easier, though the Mi streaming stick, which is a 1080p stick, does not have that option. So that is one reason why you'd probably prefer Android. But apps like VLC, your Plex server, uh, any streaming app screening, uh, you know, using your phone to mirror your phone's display on the Fire TV stick, it all works really well and seamlessly. In our article that we've written about the Fire TV stick third gen, we have a few tips, a few tricks that you should consider. One most important important one which I'm going to mention before we close off is the ability to connect a Bluetooth headset to the Fire TV stick directly. Like I said, if you have a TV from the early 2000s which did not support Bluetooth and if your TV is in your bedroom, you can't watch it if your spouse or partner is going to sleep, right? But what you can do if you have a Fire TV stick is simply connect a pair of Bluetooth headphones to the Fire TV stick in the settings and you can attach, you can just wear your headphones, get the audio wirelessly and keep watching content on your TV. We have many more tips like this in the article which you can read about in the description below. Overall, if you are considering the Fire TV Stick, I recommend the third generation over the light simply because the 1000 rupees does get you the few features which I think would be essential, especially the universal remote control. Let us know what you thought of this video in the comment section below because we have come to an end of it. If you have any questions about the Fire TV Stick or streaming dongles, in general, do let us know and we will do our best to answer them. Until then, keep streaming and enjoy.